paper, there's a lot to like about Naughty Bear. In a world populated by cutesy teddy bears, one of the number is a bit naughty. Well, a lot naughty as it happens, because when he's spurned and laughed at, he goes on a killing spree. Nice. Except that it doesn't quite work. The teddy bear death sequences are rather good, but they're tarnished by the repetitive gameplay. You are given a number of small maps to stalk around and a limited number of points for environmental interaction. Then you have to take out all the bears in the area, however you see fit. Extra points are awarded for stealth kills or special environmental kills, but there's nothing stopping you from just going on a kill crazy rampage in the open. Just be wary the arrival of the police who will shoot you if spotted. This repeats over and over, taking away any enjoyment you may have gained from various defluffications, annihilations, and surprisingly dark and violent deaths. This is most definitely not a game for youngsters. If you're a completionist, then your desire to unlock everything will challenge you, and not in a good way. Naughty Bear is a great idea, let down by mediocre presentation and clunky limited controls. Pressing triangle startles your enemies. Would you like to know more? Yes. Startle enemies make for better murder victims. Would you like to know more? Yes. Choose your murder weapon. Often leave clues for the police to find. What? Would you like to know more? Yes. Make sure you have the ingredients to dispose of the body. Would you like to know more? <sighs> yes. Tarpaulin, hacksaws, and hammers can come in handy when disposing of bodies. No, 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 no. Would you like to know more? No. It's okay, I'm coming out quietly. Don't taste me, bro.